Grace and peace be multiplied unto you. I welcome you to today's lesson on vegetable crop production. So this is a continuation. We start like a part two of the beginning of what we started, vegetable crop production. And I hope you've been enjoying the topic so far. So good. Okay. So today we will be looking at how vegetable crop production is actually done and so we look at the meaning of vegetables importance of vegetables factors in vegetable crop production and we look at the factors individually so that's the objective for today's video so what is a vegetable the meaning of veg vegetable a vegetable is an edible plant that is grown for its leaves roots fruits stems seeds and flowers so vegetables are eaten in a variety of ways as part of main meals and as snacks they may be eaten fresh or cooked examples include lettuce so lettuce is actually part of the the leaf the leafy part asparagus the stem part is eaten carrots the roots broccoli flowers garlic bulb peas and beans are the seed parts and tomatoes cucumber and pumpkins are the fruit parts which are eaten so this is what vegetables are they are the edible parts of plants and basically it depends on which part of the vegetable you are looking at and which part is edible so for vegetables their leaves are ed some some of the vegetables their leaves are edible some their roots are edible others their fruits other stems seeds and their flowers so importance of vegetables vegetables are grown and eaten because of numerous benefits human beings receive vegetables contain carbohydrate vitamins and minerals so these carbohydrate vitamins and minerals are needed for human body for normal growth vegetables contain high amounts of cellulose material fiber so vegetables are high in fiber and fiber aids or help in digestion vegetables like beans contain protein and protein as you know protein is responsible for cell repair and wound healing they contain less fats and are rich in antioxidants so antioxidants are chemicals in vegetables that prevent the body from damage. They actually protect the body. Vegetables like garlic have medicinal properties. And vegetable production, production serves as a source of income and employment avenue. So vegetable production gives people money. It gives people uh, an opportunity to work to earn money. So basically this are the importance of vegetables factors in vegetable crop production so there are so many factors in vegetable crop production and these factors must be considered before one decides to go into vegetable production and here are a list of the factors we have climatic climatic factors soil factors selection of plant material or seeds land preparation, cultural practices, harvesting, processing and storage, and marketing. So these two, sorry, these three are what we looked in our previous um, video lessons and we will look at them in this one as well. Climatic factors. So climatic factors, these are factors that are influenced by climate they include temperature rainfall light etc humidity etc so most vegetables grow well in areas where rainfall is medium or above but there are some that do well with high rainfall climate is an important factor to consider before going into vegetable production so for example tomato does not like excessive humidity when we talk about humidity we mean the amount of moisture or water in the air and tomatoes does not like such environment 
and high temperature tomatoes doesn't like growing tomatoes you don't want high temperature because the leaves will dry out but there are some vegetables that may tolerate high humidity and high temperature so it's very important to know which environmental conditions or climatic conditions are good for vegetable production soil factors so also soil factors should be considered when one decides to cultivate vegetables now when we are talking about soil factors we are looking at soil types whether the soil is loamy clay or sandy for example watermelon grows well in drier areas it likes acid and well drained sandy soil which has some fertilizer applied whilst onion grows best in rich loamy soils which are well aerated and drained onions do not like loose soil so you need to know which type of soil is good for your vegetable crop production if you are going in for watermelon you know that the loose soil is, act is actually the best if you are going in for onions you know that loamy soil is not good for it so you need to know which type of soil and which type of crop to grow on it another factor you need to know is nearness to source of water so supply of water is an, is an important factor to consider this is because you know plants actually use water is water is an important component for plants to grow so vegetables need regular supply of water to grow therefore one of the factors considered in vegetable farming is nearness to a source of water such as rivers ponds lake and streams here water from these areas could be used to irrigate the farm till the crops are matured and ready for harvesting also you have to consider nearness to the market in order for products to quickly move from farm sites farm sites proximity or nearness to market is very important so other factors to consider when going into vegetable farming is citing the farm close to the market this is important because vegetables are perishable crops and also there are no long-term measures to preserve them when they are harvested so it's important that once you have the vegetable you have a place to send the vegetables for them to be sold for people to consume or else then you should have a place for them to be processed in an industry so that they do not get spot so these are the first four factors you need to consider in vegetable crop production the rest in our, pre our subsequent lessons we will handle them as we go on so basically this means that if you're actually going into vegetable crop production you need to consider climatic factors you need to consider the soil factors you need to consider also nearness to the market or nearness to water source and so when you consider all this you can actually make good decision by starting to go into your vegetable crop production so this ends the lesson for this week i hope you understand everything i just said and i've given some questions and i hope this video will help you answer them until we meet have a nice day and enjoy your week bye bye